Hi, my name is Javier Baez, director of SpanishDO.com. Today, we're going to learn the differences between the verb to be in Spanish. In Spanish, we actually have the verb to be ser. We also have the verb to be estar. Indeed, this is a very complicated concept for English speakers because we only use one verb to say to be. But we are very precise in Spanish. So the first thing that we have to understand is the definition of ser and estar, and we're going to find the definition in the origin of the language, which is Latin. So if you go down to Latin, you'll find that ser is essere. The verb esse means to exist in English. Therefore, the verb to be ser means what to be like. That's the definition of the verb to be ser. What? to be like. Hmm. Why? Because it comes from the verb esse, that means to exist. So it responds to the question of what are you? If you exist, what are you? Are you a person? Are you a tree? Are you a rock? Let's go now to the other side. Estar. Estar comes from Latin estare, that means to stand in English. Therefore, it responds to the question where do you stand? What is your position? Where are you? So it responds to the question of location. Estar is associated with where are you right now at this moment and also answers the question of how are you. So estar means how or where to be right now. To be now at the moment. Okay, so that's the definition of ser and estar. That's why you say, for instance, uh, como estás? That means, how are you? Or, donde está el baño? On the other side, you say, for instance, ¿Qué hora es? Okay, so the verb to be ser means what to be like because the origin in Latin is ese. An example would be ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué means what? Estar means how or where to be now. The origin in Latin is estare. An example. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Dónde está el baño? Where is the wash? So, número uno, number one, the definition of the verb to be has to be precise in Spanish. Let's, let's go to the second point in our next video.